Kidneys filter 1,500 liters of blood every day. 20% of the blood pumped by the heart flows straight to the kidneys. The actual filtration of the blood and production of urine is performed by the nephrons, the small functional units of the kidney. They fine-tune the composition of blood and remove waste from the body. Basic filtration of the blood is performed in the glomeruli, which are located in the renal cortex. The hydrostatic pressure across the glomerular filter pushes small molecules into the tubule, but keep large molecules within the blood. During one day, 180 liters of primary filtrate are produced by this process. To prevent the body from losing vital blood constituents, the tubules reabsorb 99% of the filtrate back into the blood. The tubule is not a one-way street. By means of secretion, it removes additional molecules from the blood that have escaped filtration by the glomerulus. Thereby about 1 to 2 liters of urine are produced and excreted via the ureters, bladder and urethra. During acute kidney injury, AKI, the nephrons are damaged. To detect this, one can examine kidney structure and function. Creatinine is the classical marker used to analyze kidney function. Creatinine is continuously produced in muscles, filtered almost completely by the glomerulus, and passes the tubule without being reabsorbed. The balance between creatinine production and glomerular filtration determines the typical serum creatinine concentration of an individual. A major disadvantage of measuring creatinine is that half of the million or so nephrons may be damaged before increases in serum creatinine concentration can even be detected. Moreover, these increases do not occur before 24 to 48 hours have passed following the initial injury, because creatinine has to accumulate in the blood. A new biomarker assay now permits kidney injury to be detected before it has a measurable effect on kidney function also called GFR. As soon as nephrons are damaged, they release the Engol biomarker. As early as two hours after the onset of AKI, Engol levels in the urine or serum are markedly increased. Engol stands for neutrophil, gelatinase, associated, lipocalin. This nomenclature originates from early studies that isolated Engol from neutrophils. In the absence of kidney injury, tiny amounts of Engol are produced in various organs. Although it is filtered as a small molecule in the glomerulus, it is reabsorbed into the blood in the proximal tubule. In the event of acute kidney injury, the distal nephron releases large amounts of Engol and excretes it into blood and urine. In addition, the Engol reabsorption machinery is damaged which causes the levels of urinary Engol to increase even further. In a case of AKI, high concentrations of Engol can thus be detected in only a few drops of urine. During surgery, ischemia is a frequent cause of AKI. Most of the damage to the nephron is caused by inflammatory processes during the course of reperfusion. Other frequent causes are sepsis and cardiogenic shock for example in the event of a myocardial infarction. Another possible cause is hypovolemia, for example due to bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract. Also, several therapeutic and diagnostic agents that are applied in the hospital may cause AKI, for example antibiotics or contrast media. During heart surgery, the cardiopulmonary bypass pump maintains only a minimal blood pressure. As a result, Kidney perfusion is often reduced and the kidneys are frequently damaged. One in three patients undergoing heart surgery develops AKI. One in four of these patients will subsequently require renal replacement therapy. These patients can be identified as early as two to four hours after surgery by means of the Engol biomarker.